It's remarkable to see how um, how Israel has managed to have such a grip on public imagination through mainstream media. Right. Which is why I think that there are people who would otherwise like, I mean, we could have a whole debate on how intelligent you have to be, but I do think that what's scary is that given that people learn about things through the media, when you don't know what they're misrepresenting, I mean, certain things, obviously like certain bigotry is just has nothing to do with information and it's inexcusable. And, uh, but then there are other people who I think because our mainstream media is so biased, uh, it's almost hard to realize that what you're hearing is actually not objective reporting, yeah. but ideological. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so the problem is, at the very foundation, Americans believe that we have this thing called a free press. And so they so they operate from that assumption and don't really question very much. I mean, they, there's this assumption that, oh, yeah, well, you know, maybe Fox is a little bit right leaning and maybe CNN is a little bit left leaning, but, you know, they balance each other. There's this, it, it's, it's really kind of, um, and I understand how, how it can happen. Um, but it's, but it's unfortunate. And, and most people have no idea the, how the, the amount of spin and, um, and messaging and corporate control over, um, over what they get to see and how many individual gatekeepers there are to knowledge, to public knowledge and public information. And even, you know, when, I mean, I'm old enough to remember when the internet became, you know, was, became the internet. Um, There was a lot of hope that, you know, wow, there's this, you know, and for, and for a couple of decades, that was true. I mean, people had um, free access to information, but now, I mean, these algorithms and the, the, the control, there's corporate control, even on, on, on the internet. And, right. you know, you can search Google for, for things, you know, are real and happened. You can't find them. Right. You know, yeah. unless you go to like, you know, page, you know, 5,600 or something. And then <laughs> yeah, on the Google search. Yeah. And then there are all these just subtle ways, like they'll, the media will refer to clashes. Yeah. Oh, as, as if, you know, it's just two, two or like, oh, you know, this is a uh, two sides. They can, they've all this other trope is they've always been like this. They can't get along. What's new. Uh, there are bad people on both sides. I mean, it's a totally uh, a historical analysis uh, of the of the power dynamics, which just yeah. don't exist in this. And it's purposeful. Right. It's purposeful obfuscation. I mean, those those are just some of the the buzzwords that you mentioned. But if you know, there's others like the cycle of violence, and right. it's a complex situation. Yeah, yeah. Or you don't live there, so you don't know. That's another yeah. one. And um, and yeah, exactly the both sidism arguments. Um, and then you know, there's there's other there's so many ways that they manipulate people's thoughts in the way articles are written. So for example, you know, when Palestinians are killed, when Palestinians are murdered actually by Israeli soldiers, what they'll say is, you know, two Palestinians die in clashes, you know, like they just, they just, you know, these, these young men just dropped down and died. They don't ever tell you how they died, who killed them, et cetera. But when a Palestinian fights back, it's very clear. Palestinian gunman murders, right. you know, seven Israelis in a synagogue, which was a lie, by the way. They were not in a synagogue. Right. Um, but, you know, it's there's uh, there's no equivocating when it comes to um, describing what Palestinians do. Um, but there's always obfuscation and, and high and, you know, just tempering the Israeli violence and brutality, which is far greater. But there was one thing where it was like missile at beachside Gaza cafe finds patrons poised for world cup. Yeah. That's what it is. Like like this missile knocked on the door and said, hi. Yeah. 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 Instead of this missile blows people to pieces who are watching the world cup. Right. Yeah. The linguistic gymnastics are astounding. And the sad thing is that 
the American public is not, um, the, we're just not primed for critical thinking. Like you can see that and, and, and understand as a journalist, like what? But most Americans don't, you know, they don't think about that. Right. They don't have the critical thinking. Yeah, because you don't know the reality that's being distorted. You just see the distortion. 